So um, I started collecting these in the late 90s and there was something that really attracted me to this imagery and I think a part of it is that, you know, I, I grew up in a Catholic family and, you know, there's, in, in those churches there's a lot of sort of symbolism and Christian uh, icons and sculptures and so I really connected with these. But I, and, and I collected several of them over, uh, several of them over a period of time and um, I think the thing that I was really looking for in my collecting them, I was really attracted to them. I mean, almost on a, on a, a, in an obsessive sort of way. And uh, the thing that was really attractive, and, and I didn't realize this, was that uh, I liked the idea that they were done by monks, you know, who devoutly believed in what they were painting, and um, uh, and that uh, so there was this you know, uh, emotional connection to what they were doing. And, uh, and I realized that that was one of the things that I wanted to do with my own work. I wanted to create uh, this spiritual connection between me and what I was painting. And uh, I think ev almost everything that I'm attracted to in terms of art has that quality to it. There's a spiritual aspect to it. And um, uh, at least I believe that there is a deep connection between the artist that produces it and the image itself. And then the image becomes its own power, powerful sort of thing. And that's the thing about icons too, is that they became these visually powerful things that actually uh, sort of uh, had their own um, strength and, and that People actually believed some of them had power, like they would take icons into, into battle, you know, believing that just having the icon with them would give them power to overwhelm their enemies. And, and uh, a lot of there were icons that had specific uh, oh, myths around how they came to be, you know, um, it was found in the woods by a monk. Nobody knows how it got there, but it was, you know, it brought some sort of victory to the town when, when they brought it in or protected them from some sort of evil or something like that. And so I like that idea that the image itself has a power and um, it has a mystical and spiritual power to it. This painting here was a, uh, just a short period where I was just ex exploring Cubism, and I mean short, it was probably no more than a month of reading books and, and producing work, but this piece is called um, Man, Man in Cathedral. And so there's this aspect of being on this journey and, and it's a spiritual plane that you're working on. But it's a beautiful image, you know, I love the, the juxtaposition between these, these ancient images next to uh, a very contemporary image. And even this, this piece, which was done by a friend, is called Old Master Palette. And you can actually see a palette behind this but what's on top of it is this postmodern painting, you know, uh, approach. So, I don't know. These are the things that kind of attract me, and for whatever reason, I um, I find myself just moving back to these things. This is thing of identity, you know. This is even like a little sort of uh, plaster cast of my face above this icon. And this is a resurrection icon, probably 18th century. This is a, a bronze construct, one of the few that I've cast, but I've got a few of those. And, and uh, my friends, one of the first pieces of art I collected. This is, uh, has been um, ascribed by Sotheby's as being 16th century Italian Renaissance, a circle of Baracchi, Federico Baracchi. But uh, again, a spiritual image. And I, I remember when I saw this painting, I was just so attracted to it. I mean, I was obsessive about this and I called the people that owned it several times trying to get them to sell it to me and, and uh, about three months later I guess they needed the money and they called me and, and, and we were able to negotiate something. But this painting is called uh, Journey of My Prayers and it, it was one of the first paintings to come out of a series that I did called uh, The Secret Life of Prayers which I showed in 2007 and uh, this painting was painted specifically to go right where it is. Um, it was a painting I never intended to sell, and uh, to me it was this, the idea was this idea of prayer, and if I could create a sort of physical manifestation of what prayer looked like, um, what would it look like? So, and I didn't know this when I was painting this, I literally did this painting, it wasn't until afterwards that it sort of informed me of what my intentions were, but I 
afterwards I realized these sort of orchid-like petals or little splashes um, were the prayers themselves going out over this sort of mystical universe landscape it has a sort of 2001 a space odyssey quality to it you know which was wasn't my intention either but um, uh, then you have this sort of uh, celestial image of, of lights that have created this sort of mandala in this circle shape and this idea that prayer sort of um, activates the engines of the universe so that the prayer can manifest itself, you know, and they go on this journey to, to do that.